All right, welcome back to another video of my vintage t-shirts, mu music shirts. I have nine shirts out of nine of them. Eight of them are vintage. One is not. I've only worn this once. And this is Morrissey. It is missing the tag. Don't know anything about what year. It, it had something on there, but it's faded. It's really a cool shirt. It's got a nice fade to it. Morrissey from the Smiths. And on the back, Morrissey. I was in Mexico. April of this year and I wore this. Unfortunately, I didn't wear it where you can see the front, so I'm gonna have to post that on my Instagram. My Instagram for my t-shirts is Flick the Booger. Flick the Booger. So this is the first one. I bought this one in Los Angeles. I was in Los Angeles in April and there is a vintage flea market called Los Feliz Flea. And it happens to be at John Marshall High School, where I graduated in Los Angeles in 1990. Bought it from a guy that gave me a good deal on it. Next one is an Ozzy Osbourne. Somebody cut this up, which is what they would do in the 80s and 90s. So it's obviously too small for me, and I wouldn't wear it not like this. But it's really cool. It's Ozfest, 1997. And the bands are Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, Marilyn Manson, Pantera, Typo Negative, Fear Factory, Machine Head, Power Man 5000, Cold Chamber, Division of Disorder, other, some other bands that I haven't even heard of, Downset, Neurosis, and it is the U.S. Ozfest Tour of 1997. Probably fits like a medium, and my guess is that this belonged to a woman. Next one, I'm very happy to have. I wore this at a concert. I hope I didn't show this on my last video, which I doubt. But if I did, I'm sorry. Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is from 1999. For some reason, I think I did share it. If I did, I'm sorry. Californication, it says 2000. I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers at the Great Western Forum in 1996, right before I left and joined the Air Force. Next one is this really faded and worn Tori Amos shirt, which I love. It's just too big for me, it's an XL. It's from Do Drop In 1996. I bought this at the Goodwill Bins. And it's just too big for me. I, I washed it, tried it, too big. It's like an XL. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. You can't win them all. A friend of mine found this at the bins and I bought this from him. It is, I haven't worn it yet and I'm really excited. It's from 1999. <laughs> in sync look at that large totex in sync and you know what I will definitely rock this I don't care what people say it's it's going back in time yes they're cheesy but they were talented as well next one I bought at the bins and I hoped that it would fit me it's an xl it's too big for me i already washed it i want to keep it because it's such a cool t-shirt velvet revolver and it is libertad i have a feeling that this one is a parking lot boot which makes it even nicer and some of the members from Guns N' Roses with Scott the singer. 2007, technically it's really not vintage. It's 15 years old, but I'm gonna show it in this video. 
it fits like an XL. I wish it was a little bit smaller as well, but like I said, sometimes that happens. This one is a large on the anvil tag. Love this. Look at that. I know it's a common shirt, but you know what? I only have two Nirvana shirts. This is one of them. Double-sided. I was in Las Vegas visiting my friends for a guy's get-together uh, three weeks ago, two, two and a half weeks ago, and I wore this out there in Las Vegas. Big font, Nirvana. Two more shirts. I got this one uh, about two weeks ago. It is from 2006, again, not vintage. Parking lot boot for sure. Alice in Chains Tour 2006. Unfortunately, this is after the, their original singer passed away, Lane Staley. Never seen this tag before, which is why I believe this is going to be a parking lot boot. I know you can't read it. It says Gold Series, made in India, double-sided. This one does fit me, and I'm keeping it. And it has three of the members there, obviously, with no picture of this singer. The last one is not vintage, but I started off with Morrissey, and I'm going to share it. It's I have worn this one before. Morrissey, it does not have a year, but I'm sure I can look it up. Double-sided with the tour dates. Love it. There it is. Gildan tag. I have more shirts, but the rest of them as of right now are not vintage, so wanted to give you an update. I think this is video number six on the t-shirt collection, so that is 59 shirts as opposed to 60, since this one had only nine t-shirts. It's a lot of fun. I've come to the point where the ones that do not fit me, whether they're too big or too small, I'm gonna get rid of. So I'll keep the ones that I like. Take care.